my friends are since. I've been doing a lot of video work recently and because of that my studio has been set up with my various video mixers and cables and all that kind of thing and there are boxes of stuff everywhere whilst I've been experimenting with that but it's meant that I haven't really made a huge amount of music with my actual hardware synths over the past couple of weeks. I've mostly been using kind of in the box things like the Dirty Wave M8 and stuff and that's great but I wanted to spend some time today while I have it actually diving in and using some hardware synthesizers and stuff for the first time in a while. I don't really know what I'm going to do or where this is going to end up but I do know that I'm going to start with the Eurorack because I have kind of neglected it recently and I want to build something using that and then see where we go so who knows what this video will be like, it might be shit, but fuck it. I'm going to start by patching in some different things on the modular, get some melodies I like, probably record it into the laptop and then see where we go from there. So yeah, this is what this is going to be, uh, kind of fumbling music production creation vlog thing. <laughs> got a wee melody on the go now that I think sounds alright and I'm going to record it into the laptop, change it up a bit, chop it up, make some variations on that and then I'll think about adding drums or something, perhaps. <laughs> ah shit, <laughs> should I charge the laptop? Choppy choppy! I've now got a rough song structure. I've cut everything in bits as you can see here and arranged the loops in a way that kind of makes some sense. So what I'm going to do is record drums and for this uh, I was going to use the poly and tracker but I want to do something a wee bit different and I've been using the tracker quite a lot lately so I'm going to use the MPC uh, and I record a bunch of loops on that, put them into this and then see what's left. <laughs> So this track is basically done. It's pretty amazing what the drums can do to flesh out the sound. But I'm just gonna add in a wee final finishing touch in the middle because it needs something. And that is going to be my trusty Behringer VC340. Because it has some nice string sound. So that's what I'm gonna do just now. <laughs> 